So the next boss we're going to take on, we're going to take on Junkman next. And yes, I am pretty much going in order to, uh, you know, take out all the bosses with their primary weaknesses. But we have Mr. Junkman. And as you probably expected, his stage is filled with junk. All kinds of junk. Ugh, they even have cockroaches. Ugh. That's disgusting. I don't wanna look I don't wanna look at cockroaches. I've actually I don't think I've ever seen like a cockroach like I mean, I'm sure I've seen a cockroach before, but, like, I've never seen one, like... I, I hear a lot of people, like, talking about, Oh, there's cockroaches, ugh. There's a cockroach in our house. I don't think I've ever seen that, like, ever. Maybe, maybe I just take... <laughs> maybe I'm just, like, really, really clean or something, and I don't have to worry about that. Hopefully that is the case. But, yeah, I've never really had to deal with cockroaches, like, ever. So that liquid down there, obviously you don't want to touch it. That is liquid hot, uh, well, not, maybe not magma, but, you know, it serves the same primary uh, use anyway. It can kill you in one shot, so do not touch it. And I actually got really lucky and got an extra life right there. Thank you, you ugly cockroach. So here we have a machine. Why don't we use our new power to power this machine on and see what we have to uh, deal with here. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to fall. It's okay, the... I think the machine... Oh, I do have to turn the machine on again. Damn it. I didn't mean to fall down, though. Now be careful, uh, you can easily get squashed against something by these platforms, so definitely avoid that at all possible if you can. Okay, I will actually want to go up here though. Actually, I can probably use Rush Coil for this. Boom. And there we get our first upgrade. I believe that is the Rush Jet. Yeah, it is. It's the Rush Jet, so... Already, I think we have a really, really cool weapon. The fact that it can allow us to use that very early on is always nice. Especially since a lot of games try to put that in, like, near the end, just because of how broken it can be. In fact, this might actually be a good section to use the Rush Jet, so I'm going to go ahead and use it here. And yeah, you can uh, move the Rush Jet up and down. Which is always awesome. Oh, what's this? Hmm, seem to have been another path. Uh, there is, there are definitely multiple paths through some of these stages, but a lot of that will depend on whether or not you have the right uh, weapon or item to do that. Go ahead and fill up my rush jet again, just in case. I think that's pretty much the end of the stage, though, if I remember correctly. This stage really isn't too bad or too hard. Yep, here we go. We're already we're already fighting Junk Man, which is uh, kind of hilarious in itself that we got here so quick. Oh boy, Junk Man! Oh no! Oh shoot! Okay, so you have to wait for the right time to actually use the move. You can't just, uh... Oh yeah, that's that's right. This is, this is how you can really easily cheap this guy out. Just a matter of hitting him, sliding, hitting him, sliding, and that's it. He has some interesting power-ups, though. As you can see, he kind of stunned me and then dropped things from the ceiling. He is also kind of invulnerable in some cases, too. So you have to really watch when you uh, shoot your weapon at him. There we go. Three robot masters down. Go away, Mr. Junkman. The junk shield will protect the user with rotating spheres, right? Yep, 
Yes, but the spears can only absorb so much damage before they are destroyed. Thank you for the tip, Wily. Thank you for the tip. So yes, now we have the Junk Shield, and now we're ready for the last of the first four stages. We're going to go to... Is that Blizzard Man? Oh, Freeze Man. I think Blizzard Man was Mega Man 6. I don't remember all the names of all the Robot Masters. Especially when you get to those, which are like very common ideas and motifs. You tend to forget like which one's which. Oh god, Polar Bear. Not just any Polar Bear, it's a Polar Bot. Polar Bot, Polar Bot Bear. Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, so let's make our way through this stage now. Uh, this stage actually does have quite a few goodies that are worth picking up. So I'm going to make sure I can get what I can. Take that, you jerk. Okay, boom. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Actually, I'm curious. Did I pick up... There's an item I don't remember at me picking up. Did I? Okay, I did. I did pick up the R. So yeah, there are letters we have to pick up. Uh, the letters in Rush. So we have to find a U, an S, and an H. We have the R already from uh, Burst Man stage. But we couldn't get the others because uh, we didn't have the right item for it. We probably could have gotten Cloud Man's, but again, that was uh, in that one room that had the... Uh, um, the invisible floor that I couldn't really see, so I didn't bother with it. Um, I could probably... Yeah, I'll make it. Okay, you don't want to kill this guy, though. Because these guys actually create platforms for you to use to get across. So we're going to use them to get across, just like that. Okay, so, this looks like the harder path to get up, so we want to go up here first. And there is the H. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up. Or not. Please tell me those platforms respawn. Ah. Ah. Actually, wait, I can still use Rush Jet, I think. It'll be a little tricky, but uh, I think I can still do it. I just have to be... Ah! Come on. You got to the very edge. I think I can do it, though. This, this, this has to be possible. Yes! Okay, good. Yeah, I just did not know what I was doing right there. I think I probably should have used Jet earlier on, maybe. I don't know, maybe there's another weapon I could have used. I just wasn't thinking about it. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Rush! I didn't mean to do that. I thought I had the Mega Buster back. Uh, this robot just shot my dog. I don't like that. I am not, I am not okay with that. Okay, so here's another weapon we want to get, or item, rather. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and cheat this out with the jet again. Here we have another rush item. We have the rush search. Uh, this little nifty tool will allow us to search for items that are hidden, hidden underground. Uh, some of the items, they are important, but most of the time you'll probably just find, like, bolts or energy or something. Or in some cases, you may find like a really dumb like gag item, which aren't actually helpful. They're just there to kind of show you, oh, look what we found. We found something stupid. Urgh. Let's go ahead and try to use that. I want to say there's something right here. I'm probably wrong. Normally, he'll bark if he finds something. Oh, he did. He found a bolt. Not a great bolt, not a great bolt, but he did find something. Usually if there's something, like again, like really, really important, he'll bark before he actually finds it. 
But in some cases, yeah, if he yawns, there's not really anything worth investigating, so you can probably just move on. Okay, I'm gonna get this E-Tank. So if you want a really good place to get E-Tanks, uh, definitely use Burst Man stage, because he has, like, that E-Tank at the very, very beginning. This guy is actually hitting me quite a bit, which I don't like. Well, thankfully I got a life out of it. You love when you get a life. An extra life, anyway. We are actually about at the end here. So that's good. Okay, yep, that's what I thought. I'll probably end up dying against the boss, but that's fine. So I want to say this is where the item we need is. So we're going to use the rush search and see if we can find it. Don't think it's right there, though. He is barking, though. Maybe it is. Maybe it is right there. Oh, there it is. Okay, he did find it. Uh, so this is the exit stage option, where you can quite literally just exit the stage if you don't want to uh, continue anymore. But, uh, you know, we're at the end. Obviously, we don't want to just give up, especially when we've come this far. And I'm not going to use the weakness just yet, because I want to actually see this guy in action, and I'm already at half health anyway. I don't want to try to fight this guy, lose weapon energy, and then have to do the rematch anyway. So yeah, this guy can make uh, the floor icy. He can make icicles fall. He, 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 can be, he can be pretty challenging. He can be pretty challenging. But... This is why we have weapon weaknesses, and this guy is weak to the junk shield, so let's see what we can do. Okay, here we go. Much like, uh, much like any of the shield items in other Mega Man games, how you use it is pretty typical. Just kind of Use it, get close to him, and then just let the damage go through him as he dies. And yeah, as you can see, I would have probably died if I tried that first attempt, so... Thank God. And with that, we get Freeze Man's weapon. And if you couldn't figure it out, Burst Man is weak to Freeze Man's weapon. Although, seriously, you should really just fight <laughs> Burst Man without his weakness, because it's so easy. So the bullets will split when they hit the ground. Okay. So I guess that means if they hit the ground, they can create like extra projectile shots or something. But yes, that is the freeze cracker. I've never had a frozen cracker before, but uh, I don't know. I can't really imagine them tasting that good. That's just me though. So yes, we have our password. But before we move on with more robot masters, Welcome home, Mega Man. Dr. Light, what do you think of base? His actions don't seem to indicate a threat. I don't believe he is our enemy. Oh no. What is this? Wily is attacking the Robot Museum. You must leave now, Mega Man. So before we continue, we have to uh, go to the Robot Museum and take care of this uh, threat, I guess. What is going on? Oh, we have Robot Masters from the past. We have Snake Man, Blizzard Man, uh, Not Here Man. Pharaoh Man, uh, that's Heat Man, that's Heat Man, okay. Couldn't remember if that was Heat or Flame Man, but then I was like, wait, no, it's Heat Man. Oh no, Dr. Wily, what are you doing? He's taking Guts Man, or what looks like Guts Man. 
Oh, hi, clown. Thankfully, he doesn't seem to do a lot of damage. He has a really awkward hitbox, though. Damn it. Taking more damage than I should be. I'm probably dead. Yep, I'm dead. Shoot. Well, let's try that again. Again, not a really hard boss. It's just, uh, I just took way too many hits there. Do we have to see the cutscene again, or do we just have to fight the guy? I hope we don't have to see the cutscene again. Okay, good. Ah, jeez. I guess, I guess the trick is not to try and, uh, Mega Buster the head, because if you do that, he kind of goes all the way over the place. Like, like that. Okay, good, I got him. Whew! That was kind of close. But I did it, nonetheless. But yeah, like, don't do a supercharged shot. Just, like, do normal shots so it doesn't, like, get knocked out of the way and, like, starts bouncing everywhere. I guess that's probably the, uh, goal. Mega Man is a disaster. Wily and his robots are rampaging through the middle of the city. Get going. Weren't they already doing that? <laughs> Maybe he has some more robots. And with that, once we've gotten that out of the way... The four other Robot Masters become available. But, I'm not actually going to challenge these guys just yet. I want to go through these uh, stages again and pick up some things that I missed the first time around. So, I'm going to do that very quickly and I'm going to start by going to Junkman stage. So, I will see you guys when I'm at the place where I need to be. Okay, so when you get into the room, this room right here, it's the room right after the first uh, elevator section. Where you start having uh, the boiling hot uh, lead or whatever the hell that stuff's supposed to be. Uh, wait, oh wait, let me kill this guy first because, well, extra life and some bolts, which is always nice. Uh, but, stupid cockroaches, go away. So right here, you have this little waterfall. This waterfall of uh, liquid hot metal or whatever the hell it is. You want to use the freeze cracker on this. As you can see... Ah, okay, interesting. And yep, as you probably figured out, right over here we have the S. So that gives us R blank SH. I think we can just go ahead and exit now that we have that. So yes, we have the S now. Now we have to go get the U, which the U is located in Cloudman stage. So, I will see you guys when it starts to get to a relevant point in this stage, so hold on. Okay, so once it starts raining, and you get to this uh, second weather-changing guy, use the freeze cracker, and it'll start snowing. But, because it starts snowing, 
we'll be able to see the platforms again. So, we can now use this to actually see where we're jumping in that other room, because that was kind of the issue of that room. We couldn't exactly see what we were doing, and as a result, we missed our jump. So, um, I'll see you guys when, we get, when I get back there. Okay, so we are back in this room. Let's go ahead and grab the life, and, you know, since we have it, let's just go ahead and use Rush Jet instead. So yeah, I think I really could have made that jump. It was just too hard to make at the current state. But we have all of the Rush Adapter letters now, so let's go ahead and leave. Um, do we actually just get it in the next level or something? Maybe I... Maybe I have to see Dr. Wily before we, or Dr. Light before we actually get it. So in that case, I'll go ahead and I guess just do the next level.